This is the call. When I accept it, it gives me the indication. Security alert. Please check your phone. Security alert. Please check your phone. Security alert. Please check your phone. This alert occurs on December 13, 2020 at 9.39 a.m. And after giving the call, it also gives the notification to our mobile phone. You can see the notification on my mobile phone. That security alert activated on December 13, 2020 at 9.39 a.m. Friends, for making this project, we need some material like a breadboard, Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module, a power bank to give power to this Node MCU, one push button, and a LED with resistance to give the Wi-Fi status and a smartphone for building IFTT application. Now let's start the project. First of all, let's make the hardware. The node MCU is put it in this breadboard to get wirings easily. Now according to my code, this LED is pushed in the D1 output which is a GPIO4 pin. Now our hardware is completed. If you have any doubt in this then you can see the picture that is on the screen. Now let's see that how we can make the IFTT application and our applets. First of all, we need to download this IFTT application from the Play Store. After downloading it, open it and first login in this IFTT app. After login, please click on this create button to make a new applet. Then you can see this type of screen. You need to touch add option and then search here for a webhook. After click webhook, you can see receive a web request. You will need to touch this button. Then here is the important option where you need to write an event name which is also used in the URL. Then in the end option, you need to select or search for an VOIP calls. This applet is used for making a call on our device using IFTT server. So we need to touch this and click on call my device. Then we only need to write the message which we need to hear from the caller. You can write any message according to your wish. Then lastly click continue.
and then click finish. Now our call making applet is successfully created. Let's make the notification applet on the same process. Again click on create. If this statement search for webhook. Same receive a web request. Here you need to remember that event name is the same as we used in the calling option. So alert. Then in dendent option, we need to search for the notification. Because this time we want to receive the notification from the IFTT server. So here the second option you need to choose. After click on this button, you need to write the message which you want from the IFTT server when the event occurred. Here also you can write any message according to your wish. Click continue. And then finish. Now our both calling and notification applet are successfully created. So let's do the programming part. So friends, in the programming part, first of all you need to download the Arduino IDE software in which you need to type this code and then upload this code in your NodeMC USB 8665M module. I need to tell you that in this code you need to only change your Wi-Fi SSID and password for your project. And the most important thing which is a string URL here. This is the URL which you need to copy from the webhook documentation which I shown in the video. So please see the video till end. Now from the board manager here in the tools in the board manager select node MCU 1.0 module. And then easily upload this code in your node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. Friends, a most important thing which I forget earlier, the webhook documentation which is used in our code. You need to search for a webhook on the ITT application and then click this documentation option then here you can see your api key or a trigger key which you need to copy and paste it in the code friends this key is important for your project so please do not forget this step So friends, let's see that how it works. First of all, we need to give the power supply to this ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. This is the 5 volt power bank which I use to give the power supply to this Wi-Fi module. When I power it, the LED is blinking which means it's searching for the network. And when it stops, which means the network is successfully connected to our Wi-Fi module. Now let's check it by push this button. Now our command is successfully given to the IFTT server and we get a call from this IFTT server. This is the call. When I accept it, it gives me the indication. Security alert. Please check your home. Security alert. Please check your home. Security alert. Please check your home. 
This alert occurs on December 13, 2020 at 9.39 am. And after giving the call, it also gives the notification to our mobile phone. You can see the notification on my mobile phone. That security alert activated on December 13, 2020 at 9.39 am. So let's check it again. The call is coming and same it gives the notification of this event.